video will demonstrate how to administer the journals feature within PlantLog. To do any administration within the software, you will need to sign into your site account using a desktop browser, as we're doing here. The journals workflow screen allows you to define the journals you want to have used within your facility and the categories that will get assigned to those journals to better organize the entries made within them. So if you recall, a journal is mostly used for uh, documenting previous events that have taken place within the facility, usually recorded throughout a shift. Uh, so a classic use for a journal might be one named shift turnover where the operators would perhaps at the end of their shift come in and make a few journal entries on which what kind of events took place um, while they were on shift so that the relieving shift can come, come on and review those entries and kind of get a feel for what's been going on within the facility. So before we create our first journal, let's first look at journal categories. And to do that, we're gonna come under the properties tab, much like we did in the logs workflow screen. Under the Properties tab, you'll see the list of default journal categories listed here. And once again, you can create your own list, edit this, uh, add new ones, and so on. Notice, too, that this is very similar to the selection sets in the Logs workflow, where selections can be designated as an exception, which appear in red. Journal categories work in much the same way. You can create a category and then designate it as an exception, if you like. And obviously, exceptions refer to conditions uh, or events that are uh, severe or abnormal in nature. So we have a category here called fire. In case a fire were to uh, take place within the, the facility, you would categorize it with this. And obviously, that's not good. So it's considered an, an exception. Injury, if an injury were to occur, you could have a category to document that. Uh, security breach and so on. Uh, you can just make your own categories according to your own uh, operational needs. Here is a general one, maintenance, just to document various maintenance events. So let's just take a look at one real quick. Let's say injury, and let's edit this particular category. We're being told that if we were to edit this, that any journal records already using this category will be changed to whatever we rename it to. So just a uh, reminder there. And now we're in the edit journal category dialog. So we give it a name. In this case, it's injury. And down here it says is exception. And this, in this case, it's checked off. So we're designating the injury category as an exception. Let's cancel out of this. And let's go back to the general tab. So let's go ahead and create a journal now. We'll come over to the journals panel. We'll click the plus button. And we'll give it a name. And let's just go with that shift turnover journal like we spoke of. So we'll give the name of the journal, and then you'll see a full list of all the categories that were created in the Properties tab. And so now that you're creating this journal, you can now select which categories are applicable to this particular journal that we're creating. So if there's a particular category in here that is not relevant, simply don't select it, and it will not be an option when, when uh, operators or users go to create an entry for the shift turnover journal. But let's go ahead and check them all off. Let's say they're all applicable for this kind of journal. And now all of these will be a choice that they can uh, select when they create an entry. They will have to pick one of these categories when making an entry. And then finally down below here, we have the details box. Much like we had in the logs workflow page, you can add additional instructions regarding this journal. Maybe you want to give them instructions on what to record, what kind of events to record, or what things not to record and so on. So there's just auxiliary information you can provide. And we'll go ahead and hit the Add button. And now we've just added this journal, and it'll list all the categories that are assigned to this journal. So as another example, you can create other journals for more focused or, or uh, work type specific needs. So say you have electricians and mechanics on staff, like we spoke about before. You can create an electrician's journal and a mechanic's journal, and then you can assign it, those journals, more specific categories that relate to those kind of uh, crafts. So for the electricians, there might be electrical type categories so they can filter out 
uh, and really focus on the the information that they need to communicate with each other without having to review uh, a more generic journal with information that may not be uh, relevant to their, their work task. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to watch other videos in this series which cover different aspects of the PlantLog software.